think it might be. And we're back. We should remain on our guard. So yeah, there was a little uh, back and forth about the fact that the town we're going to is the one that has the demon, that the exorcist we're talking about. Go away. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. You're far away, Mr. Octopus. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna give you some love. There's another chest. Circle on the coast here, and then we'll circle back Code Red Hunt. Nice job. Wait, didn't I have some other people that just... Yeah, I did. I almost forgot about that. I am war. I can give you, like, literally any ring. We start with the lowest rarity stuff to get the chip. Outside doll. Let's get the weather guardian out of the way. That's for you. To this. On to that. On to the heart shoes. I'm not buying another amphibole waistcoat. Spike shoes. Seven percent nullify damage. That'll be really good for it, bro. Seriously, what are these things? They're like, they're like, they're kind of like ghosts, but they're not. Uh, I don't even know how to describe them. Ooh, a Katie. if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling <laughs> him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper <laughs> compensation from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. <laughs> oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber ennui thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. M mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Ominoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> It would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer. But it won't get you out of the doghouse. Ah! <laughs> I think that's the uh, thing about the fun. Uh, food. Who can eat? Mambo curry. Food. All right, colorful rainbow succubus. Are we go lucky? Ooh, weak to fire, resistant to water and earth. So I can go. You know what happens with a move like that? Where it's a weakness and something that hurts. It. Power hits and resists. 
Most of your fire, fire, fire. Oh, Crimson Flash is the only fire move. You have that fire burst. Powerful enemy. Earth, wind, wind, wind. Great random skill. Some final damage on the hard mode. Okay, equipment. Let's get you set up with a name. Earth. And. Wait, right. We also need Earth. Alright, now that's done. Let's continue on our way. Bunch of freaking chests around here, man. village to the inn one and all Oh, I'll get 
trustworthy right around here. Maybe not. Oh, wait. Not where it's at. We heard any salt. Demons are attacking villages, and more people are growing upset with the abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Yeah, but Despite you still think that, Artorius is perfect. No, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. Well, it is the darkness. Charlemagne. Shopkeeper. Those are done, but we're stuck waiting on that. Not done with fork boot ship. Um, right now, get that shit done. <sighs> and amber boots. Jesus, what's wrong with that? Have anything I don't have yet? Don't have that. Has like all the stuff that I need. Sitting on mastered items. for days. There's four t chests around this town. Eventually I go that way. Climb. 
Chest number three. It's gotta be up here. They're always up. Yep. This. Three. Now, oh, chest four. I'm guessing somewhere. Somewhere this way. I've done much of it. all these fruit flavor gels, right? Um... So, I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, and made some gels with them. You put fish into chocolate gels? Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century. The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gels gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which <laughs> made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my Gels World debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito Gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my Gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Chaconito gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was goo 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 ga, and everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Oh, I don't know what's wrong with this kid, but no adults I know go, you know what? I think I'm gonna go digging around in a fucking toilet. That's like scout not what you're no. If I go to the bathroom and there's something that looks like a turd, I'm gonna flush it. I'm gonna take care of what I was gonna take care of. We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. All right, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grim can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right, I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Okay. 
let's go to the different stars. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. I mean, to be honest, there probably isn't a demon. They're probably coming here because this place is praising the water Empyrean and they're gonna like just start murdering people. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. <sighs> oh, ancient Avarost. You have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says, Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, the parent hates tomatoes, the child Eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with Enominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So, like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm... It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. I yeah, wonder if that's... they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? The words.
Well, any results? Yes. Well, thanks to the boy here. As it turns out, he has quite the knack for languages. <laughs> Only because I've got the best teacher. Careful, honey tongue. You'll give this old girl ideas. Huh? Now, child, I'm sure they're curious about the song we unearthed. Why don't you read it aloud? Yes, teacher. Song? Eight-headed is the lord of the land, with seven mouths to devour malevolence. Through pulses of earth doth base nature's flow, as he awaits the time of awakening. Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. The nameless Empyrean hath one heart, the nameless Empyrean hath one body. Therians? Essentially, this ancient text you found is an annotated volume of drawings and songs pertaining to Enominot. Annotated? Then hurry up and just tell us what it means. I'm sorry. So far, we've only figured out how to read the song lyrics. All right. I take it we're still in for a good long wait before it's thoroughly decrypted. Likely so. But if we want to find out what the Abbey is up to, we need to know what's in this book, no matter how long it takes. Hmm. What the Abbey's up to, is it? I think we can learn much, even from the lyrics alone. The drawings depict him with eight heads. One of them belongs to his main body, but the other seven are his mouths. Those mouths consume malevolence, sending it along earth pulses back to that main body so he can awaken. The seven monsters fitting that description are called... Therians. Right. Now, as for this malevolence, I have no idea what that means. Oh, it's the mm. demon blade. So, what about the second part? I haven't studied much ancient history, but it said this world was created by four Empyreans. Earth, water, wind, and fire. But they also call Enominot an Empyrean. Perhaps a war broke out between Enominot and the other Empyreans that resulted in him being sealed away. But if there is someone to connect with this divine power, the Therians will keep spawning. And just like that, Enominat will be revived. If we assume that Shepard Artorius fits that bill, and that he's trying to reawaken Enominat, everything lines up. Which means our job is to find these Therians and cut off Enominat's heads, so to speak. But where do we even start looking for them? Remember. The song states that the Therians and Enominat's body are connected through Earth pulses. If their job is to feed Enominat, the most effective place to position them would be at the Earth pulse points. Points? The place is where the power of Earth pulses is concentrated. Places with that sigil. Hey, remember the barrier that was keeping this bug in the forest? Wait, are you trying to say that thing's Aetherian? And yet, it would explain why the Abbey was keeping it locked up. And there was that same barrier at the villa, too. That's right. Do you suppose that was also Aetherian? Does that mean the Therians all come in different forms? Should we go to Logres and check? We've just started deciphering the book. I'd hate to lose time on some fool's errand. I'd rather know at least a little more about what's in it before we make a move. Hmm. Something bothering you, Grim? This line. The one about Therians being forever reborn. Uh, 
I just felt the same thing as I did in Warg Forest. The needle's pointing in the direction of Amenoch's temple, Palamedes. Do I recall hearing that the Abbey took that over? Temples and ritual sites are often built on places thought to be rich in spiritual energy. Could the temple possibly be an Earth Pulse Point? There's lots of Earth Pulse Points scattered all over the world. If there's only seven Therians, most of them will be empty. It's not like we have any better leads. If there's even a chance, shouldn't we go check it out? Better than sitting around waiting on the book. If nothing else, we'll find out what Lafayette is sensing. Hmm. Just a theory, but if you were to kill a Therian... What? Hmm. I guess there's only one way to find out. Never mind. Good luck out there. So... We've encountered two Therians so far. We know Velvet's a Therian. And I'm guessing that prison is probably also an Earth Pulse Point. And all the Therians are being force fed demons. So, he's. Listen, I don't know what they told you. This village is under the divine protection. They're tapped and they're still. Of course, so basically, oh, but the Abbey. By force? An exorcist the Abbey is using Therians <clears throat> to eat Demon Blight. And that Demon Blight energy is what's like feeding into awaken nomenot. So a nomenot's only partially awakened. But you're going by that logic, and this is fucked up. <clears throat> but Velvet is playing right into Artorius's hands, going around and devouring demon. Blood. That brings up the real question is if the other Empyreans sealed away a nomenot, does that mean a nomenot is is he actually like a great demon, or is he a holy figure? Because if his power comes from demon blight being devoured, that would make me think like, you know, she's sucking the demon energy out of things and feeding it back to something. Feeding back demon energy can't make something that's holy nice. You know, it doesn't really make sense. But either way, we're going to wrap this one up here. We'll head on over to the temple and find out what's going on a little bit later today. So stay tuned. We'll catch you guys then.